In today's video, we are going to be cleaning up and organizing my home library. It is an absolute disaster and completely unusable at the moment. So we are going to be taking it from this to this. avoiding cleaning this room for so long. It is a huge mess and I've just been pretending that it doesn't exist. However, I'm about to start doing like a big unhaul cleaning my shelves series. But in order to do that, I need to get organized. I need to rein in the chaos so that we can then cleanse. First step I think is going to be to collect all of the books that are on the floor and line them up and do like minimal organizing. That way I actually have room to move around here because right now it's feeling like hopscotch. Like I'm jumping, I'm sidestepping. It's very difficult to move around in this room. <laughs> books over here I'm going to do some light sorting some of these books already have places on the bookshelf that I can just slot them back into and other ones have never been on the bookshelves so we're gonna need to do some organizing and making room for those but first I'm gonna put the ones that have spots back on the shelves like my favorites bookshelf but I haven't updated it in a long time we're gonna update it with my recent favorites aside from my romance faves because I like just keeping all of my romance books together on this shelf so let's kind of go through this and see what I want to remove we've got a dowry of blood which I am keeping I think I'm gonna take off strange grace for now still a favorite book but I feel like I need to reread that at some point this is how you lose a time war is staying I think this is one of the most brilliant books ever um, the House in the Cerulean Sea, I'm going to take off solely because I have Under the Whispering Door right here. I want to keep them together. I feel like they just look better as a set. So we'll move that down there. Then we have the whole Wayward Children series, which is staying, obviously. Black Sun, I'm going to take off and move down here. So I pulled off some books that I might add to the favorites shelf. We have one of my favorite series, the Veronica Speedwell series. I also just love how this series looks, like the spines, the way they all go together, beautiful. Then I pulled off all of my T. King Fisher books, who you guys know is like my new favorite author of all time. I don't know if I'm gonna put every single one of these books on the shelf. I'm definitely gonna put some of them. There's one book that I'm looking for and I can't find it. It's Slewfoot. That has to be added to the favorites shelf, but I have no idea where it is. Never mind, I found it. It was in my bedroom on my desk. All right, so I definitely want all of these in here. Oh my god, I love how these spines look together. So beautiful. Then we have Wayward Children series, which I'll keep next to it. I also love how all these spines look together. Although it does bug me. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they changed the, the little publisher logo on the bottom. That does bug me a little bit. So then we need to decide which of the T. King Fisher books I'm going to keep up here. I have two versions of The Hollow Places, which is one of my favorites of her books. This was the first one that I ever read. So one of these is definitely going to go on the shelf. I think I'm going to do this one because then in my horror section, I can keep these two together, which like the spines don't really match, but these more go together than this one does. Then I also have two editions of Nettle and Bone. I think looking at the spines, 
I sort of think I'm gonna put this one on the favorites shelf. I just feel like those look nice together. These two I have not read yet, so I'm not gonna put them on the favorites shelf yet. These two I liked, but they're not my favorites. Um, I gave both of them four stars. And then we have my actual favorite Tea King Fisher book slash probably my favorite book ever. So those are the three that I'm gonna put on the shelf. And then we have Slewfoot, which I actually think I'm gonna have this book facing out because I love this cover. I feel like it looks good, but it's like missing something. Like maybe if I switch out the plant, like that maybe looks better. Maybe I can fit both the picture and the plant in. Yeah, I like that. I've made a lot of progress. All of the books are now on the shelf. The floor is clear. I do need to vacuum. Next steps are to vacuum and then go around my apartment and pick up all of these stray book piles that I have literally just sitting on every surface in every room. Too hot for cleaning. I keep having to take breaks because I'm just like overheating. I need summer to be over. I'm done. I'm over it. I'm over summer. It's too hot. It's too hot for cleaning. It's too hot for pants. But at least the floor is now clean so I can lay on it. All right, I've gathered all of these stray books and I'm gonna put them all on my book cart and then we can roll it into the library. Now, once again, do some sorting and put all of these books onto the bookshelves. This might be the hard part because all my shelves are now packed very tight. So I might have to get a little creative here. The stacks are all organized, like fantasy, romances, thriller and mysteries, and then this tall stack is horror. This is where the problem is gonna happen because my horror shelves are full. There's like a tiny bit of room right there, and that's it. The rest I feel like I can fit. I'm gonna have to get a little bit creative. This will definitely be easier after I do an unhaul because then there will be more room on my shelves, but I'm gonna make it work. We're gonna make it fit. I think actually what I'm gonna do is, is a little bit of this shelf and then the bottom one are young adult as well as these four shelves. I think I'm gonna condense all those and I'm gonna double them up and stack some in the back because my young adult shelves are the ones that I interact with the least. I don't really read young adult anymore. It's more so just for the nostalgia. So let me do that. Let me double stack all of those. And then that will free up these bottom two shelves to just kind of like continue my horror and thriller all the way down. Now have these three shelves are all double stacked and they're all my YA books. And we now have an empty shelf up there, half an empty shelf here and an empty shelf there. I moved all the Thriller hardcovers down to the bottom, and I actually just realized I read every single book on this shelf except for three. This one, this one, and this one. So maybe it's time to do another Thriller reading blog. They're all authors that I've already read from before and loved. Okay, so now I have another shelf to continue my horror. This is good. completed the bookshelf for today. It looks great. All of the books are in here. They're on the shelves. I'm gonna continue tomorrow and we're gonna do some more decorating. I'm gonna rearrange the furniture a little bit. Here's what the shelves are looking like right now. This shelf was completely empty. I just kind of filled it with some overflow fantasy books that didn't fit on the fantasy shelf. I've got room to add more horror, which is great. The romance shelves are killing it. Looking amazing. 
All right, we are back now. Day two, we've got a coffee. I'm energized. This is a butter pecan ice latte from Dunkin. Listen, I've always been a Starbucks girl, but butter pecan from Dunkin Donuts? It's the move. I'm obsessed. I literally have an espresso machine in my apartment, but I've been getting so many butter pecan lattes from Dunkin. You ready to decorate, Luke? I think what I wanna do is I'm gonna move the Chase Lounge in front of the window here. That's where I used to have it, but then I put my desk there for a long time. But now my desk is in a different room because I didn't really like having this room be my office. I want the vibes in here to be cozy and calming. And whenever I would come in here, I would just feel anxious because it was my office. So now my desk is somewhere else, so this room can truly just be cozy, relaxing vibes. So then we're gonna have this wall right here that I don't know what we're gonna do with. We'll figure it out, I'm gonna play around. Back here, there's a big closet that has tons of like extra furniture and decorations and just things that I haven't found places for, so we can go look in there and see what we can add. Actually, first thing we're gonna do is center the rug. Because it has never been centered in this room, I don't know why, and it's always bugged me. <laughs> it's hard to tell. I think this is centered. Or should I flip it and have it be like this way? I'm gonna try that. It's just an awkward size to be this way. There's like a lot of space on both sides. I don't even know if you guys can see me. I think this looks better. I feel like this fits the scale of the room more. All right, so here's how it's looking so far. This way, like it fits the scale of the room better. The chase lounge looks great. Now I have all this stuff and then this empty corner here. I think I'm gonna put the chair and the table here kind of at like an angle to have like a little secondary sitting area. I should move all of these. Those were put here temporarily, but then they just stayed there forever. For now, I'm just gonna put it back here until I find a spot for it. I don't know what to do with this spot. I feel like I need a footrest, but I don't have one. That's going on the list of things I need. Something is missing in the middle, but I do love this so far. I don't love this though. Let me try a couple different combinations here. No, that's worse. I guess that's gonna have to be it for now. However, I do feel like I'm missing something here. That? You know what, I kinda like it. Maybe it's too much pink, but like, is there such thing as too much pink? No. So that is all I'm gonna do today. This area, I'm still figuring out. This is not it. If anyone wants to give me some suggestions, please let me know, because I just cannot figure this side out. But I definitely feel like this looks cozier, it looks better, it's obviously very clean. I also still haven't done anything with this wall yet. I have a lot of stuff that I need to hang up, but I realize I don't actually have the tools to do it yet, so that's gonna be put on hold. Hope you guys liked this video of me cleaning and organizing my home library. This room makes me so happy. I feel good being in here now. It was chaotic before, it made me stress, but now I feel relaxed. I feel, I feel good. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!